So in this video, I want to go through some examples of being told to find a matrix, a rotation matrix, of a certain angle, uh, anticlockwise, or in this case, a clockwise, about the origin. And we're going to use our general form uh, matrix that we have here. Really, you should be walking into the exam knowing that matrix. Okay? So, number one. A rotation by 45 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. Okay, so what we're going to do then is just substitute theta for 45 degrees into our matrix. So we're going to have cosine of 45, sine 45, negative sine 45, cosine 45. Okay, so cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2 so that's top left and bottom right and then sine of 45 is root 2 over 2 as well and so there is our matrix okay so that is the matrix that would describe a rotation by 45 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin so if you applied uh, that matrix to our rectangle shape that we've been using in the videos, then uh, you would see it rotate round. Number two, a rotation by 225 degrees anticlockwise about the origin. Well, it's the same deal. So cosine of 225, sine of 225, negative sine 225, and cosine of 225. So cosine of 225 is negative root 2 over 2. So that takes care of the top left and bottom right. And sine of 225 is negative root 2 over 2 as well. And so this would be your matrix. Okay. Right. Now number three, a rotation by 337 degrees clockwise about the origin. Well, we know that if I'm rotating clockwise about the origin by 337 degrees, then it's the same as rotating by 23 degrees anti-clockwise. So cosine 23, sine 23, negative sine 23, and cosine 23. Now these won't be nice numbers, so we'll have to write them as decimal. Uh, so let's do 0 0.9205, 0 0.9205, sine of 23, so 0.3907, negative 0 0.3907 to 4 decimal places. Okay, and so that's how we can get our matrix. Now the last one, uh, the angle is given in radians. So you need to have learnt radian measure by this point to really understand what's going on here. Okay, now radian measure is uh, taught in A-level maths and it may well be taught to you before uh, you learn it in A-level maths. Um, because of its importance on this course as well, okay? So I'm going to go forward with this, assuming that you've uh, gone to have a look at it, if you've not met it. Um, so we need to turn our calculator into radians mode. So shift setup, go to angle unit, and turn it into radians. So we have cosine of 3 pi over 4, sine of 3 pi over 4, negative sine of 3 pi over 4, and cosine of 3 pi over 4. So make sure your calculator is in radians. So shift, then set up, number 2 for angle unit, number 2 for radian. So then cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. And so we've got negative root 2 over 2 down here as well. Sine of 3 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So that's negative root 2 over 2. Okay? And so this is our matrix 
for a rotation by 3 pi over 4 radians anti-clockwise about the origin. Okay, and so this is how we can utilize this matrix in order to find the matrix that we need.